When we pull all three measures into the marks, it looks a bit clunky, but we can use parameters to make the measure values dynamic. First, create a parameter called metric type. Change the data type to a string, and in the allowable values, create a list of all the metrics you want to include. For this, I'll include time, percent of time, and cost. We can right click on the parameter to show it on the worksheet. Now we need to edit our measures so that they are dependent on the metric type that is selected. Since we don't already have a calculated field for hours, create a new calculated field, we can call it time, and say if the metric type equals time, aka is selected, then hours. Now I'll go through and do this for our two other calculated fields, percent of time and cost. So for percent of time, if the metric type equals percent of time, then our formula. And replace hours with our time calculated field. Now we can see that because time is the metric type that is selected within our parameter list, it is only showing time on our worksheet. But because time is the first field we have in the marks, it appears at the top of the cell. And I want the marks to be at the center of the cell no matter which one is selected. So remove the metric types from the marks and bring in measure values instead. Change from detail to text. Now we can keep only the ones we're interested in. Now we can toggle between the different metrics using the parameter and see how the measure values switch.